But this is kind of a takeoff on uh, T.S. Eliot, the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. Um, I call this the desultory Philippic of Ruprecht von Studley. And basically, uh, I'm showing here that you can satirize anything. This is satire. And as Molly Ivins once uh, wrote, um, satire is the great equalizer. It will, it is the way poor people uh, get even with rich people. <laughs> it is very. It is. Uh, it can be a weapon, but I'm not using it as a weapon. I'm merely. Um, Paying tribute to one of my idols, T.S. Eliot, and I'm also doing s interesting thing here with some uh, recent occurrences, you know, involving my participation in a website, which unfortunately had to end. But that's the way it is. That's okay. I just you take something like that, and instead of uh, sending an anthrax. <laughs> Anthrax filled letter, yeah, right, satire. And that's what I did. So here it is The Desultory Philippic of Ruprecht von Studley. And that's Chris in the background, my son. <laughs> so he'll provide the background music. <clears throat> the siren shrieks and the whirling lights attack. The uniformed man approaches me. And I say, Officer, aren't you the guy who keeps us from stabbing ourselves in the forehead with our own forks? Ah, yes, you guys actually stick the corks on at the end. Hold on, officer. I found a new method of self-abusement. Friday night karaoke, where I have a fervent wish to be Helen Keller. I then take a sip of Drano, extra dry, vintage 2008. It was a very good year. However, this is candlelight dinner movie in a blowjob compared with the final tier of sadomasochism, my dearest poet friends. Who needs the clap? I've got my friends. Who needs a six car pileup with fatalities? I've got my friends. Who needs a nuclear holocaust? I've got my friends. Who needs sciatica? I've got my dear, dear poet friends. I saddle up my rodent on Razzo Amoridin, past incinerated landfills with waste disposal plants, playing my kazoo by burning rubber campfire as ugly, fat, stupid, and poorer by the second, like the bottom of a birdcage with a heart of hate and mouth of filth. I face my inner Gumby, who holds a galley copy of his latest publication, The Great and Glorious Gumby. I'm charging up the hill without my poet friends, falling headlong down the mountain. I get up at count of nine and glue myself together, running back up the hill to the great and glorious Gumby, dismounting from my trusty rodent, Ratso. I shout out, we finally found the enemy, and behold, it is us, a self-contained unit of preacher pew and people who are accepting absolution from the divine life force who looks so much like Gumby, the very spitting image. Light and peace have burrowed through the crevice, through the ever-spreadable cheeks. Spread em, spread em, spread em wide! The peace is wedged up yonder, and impaled on callous falsehood, bedezened in a lie which is wrapped with foppish pretense. I will meditate on inner peace for you. I'm in a pieces for you. Spread them wide. Dig deep. Oh, yes, I finally found my inner Gumby. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <sighs> Hi, Chris. <laughs> Come here, Chris. Come here, Chris. <laughs> Come here, Chris. Say hi to the people. Say hi, Chris. <laughs>
Thank you for watching.